Action Series MAS02 Megatron. Um, and you can see it's uh, quite big, just, just the box for it. I picked this up at TF Nation back in August of last year, so August 2019. And I haven't got around to reviewing it. So um, obviously with the situation at the moment, I've uh, got a bit of time in the evenings to do a few other reviews. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to do so. So first off, you see some great artwork here. Of him in robot mode, he doesn't transform, so he's just a poseable action figure. Um, ages 15 and up, you know, it's, uh, mainly due to the actual size of him more than anything else. Uh, if you turn around here, you get the Decepticon logo on the side here, and then on the back here, you get all his kind of action features here. Um, and this is made by Toy Alliance, I think it is, and uh, I think they do. An Optus Prime, a Soundwave, um, maybe a, what's the other one, maybe a Nemesis Prime as well. And you see you've got Peace Through Tyranny at the top here. And it shows you some of the kind of gimmicks if you like. So you've got the scope here, which lights up. He's got this kind of open up panel in here. Um, obviously loads of posability. And he's about 18 inches tall, 48 centimetres in height. And um, to display the figure, I've actually got him on display at the moment, but I'll just show you how he, how he comes packaged. Because this is actually a sleeve. And it just slides off like that. And then you have the, the figure underneath here, actually in the packaging, like that. Uh, and then if you swing it over to the other side here, You've uh, got a picture of the figure here in his robot mode. And then if I bring him down, so I'm just gonna move this box out of the way now, and then actually take a look at the figure. Right, so right, I'm just popping the box down, and I'm just gonna bring in the figure so you can take a look at him. Oh, and he's a bit heavy. There he is, that's the pose that I have him in at the moment. So you can see he's an absolute beast. Um, it's painted all over. The articulation's great. Uh, I mean, the head goes up, down, all over, left and right. It's a little bit floppy. And then there's, um, he's even painting here just underneath his head. And then I think there's a button at the back here there. For his eyes you press them and they light up like that and then you press it in again at the back uh, that's where the batteries go just press in there and then the lights come off so i'll just make sure that is focused in properly there you go so that, that looks a bit better um yeah so the arms I'll try and show this the best way I can. Go all the way around. Out all the way here. And you can see as you do it, you kind of show extra detail underneath here. And it's all ratcheted. The arm just swivels there. And then here, it bends more or less goes all the way up here and the hands themselves rotate in this kind of ball socket here they also rotate and each finger is individually articulated so you can fold those in however you like and that rotates around like I mentioned and you see there's loads of paintwork on here gold red and silver all done throughout this waist rotates all the way around. This piece here, I think, comes off to show all the kind of inner bits here. I don't think this lights up or anything. Uh, I certainly haven't found anywhere that it does, and it, it just clips back on like that. It's easy enough. And then obviously he's got this mega fusion cannon on this side as well. Um, 
and you can hold that really well and you get them in some great kind of action poses where you're shooting the gun and then I'll put just this little button on the top here I don't know if you can see that or not yeah and if you press that it should light up like that And you've got this gun on the back that doesn't move, it doesn't light up either. Uh, view from the back, see everything's quite tidy. Obviously, there's no cable because it, it doesn't transform into anything. Um, these pieces here kind of lift up all around, and the legs go all the way forward, deep bend in the knee there which goes pretty much all the way back and then it shoots it inner workings in here foot tilt I don't know if you can see that on the foot but it goes all the way out there bends forward and back either way um, yeah, so you get absolutely tons of articulation on this guy, and he holds a pose extremely well. Um, so you can point the fingers and do everything, anything that you like with him, really. He's just an insanely well done figure. Um, and if you're looking for kind of a centerpiece for your display, you know, you can't go wrong with these ones, really. Um, Obviously they don't transform, that's the downside to them. But um they're you know they're really hefty. But like I said, as a centerpiece they look great. Uh, I've just got uh, Megatron at the moment. I would like to pick up Optimus. Uh definitely um sound wave if I can. I and mean, just look at all the paintwork inside of his leg here and everything else like that. It really is done great. I mean the only kind of downside you'd say is some of the plastic on it. Sometimes it doesn't feel flimsy, but it feels a little bit light. Um, but I think if they'd used something a little bit different, then the figure really would weigh a lot more. And then obviously that would put shipping costs and everything else on it. Um, but yeah, that's it really. That's, um, I just wanted to show you this guy, let you know what my thoughts uh, were on it. I picked him up from Kapow Toys in the end. Um, I think he was reduced at the time um, and I was like well be rude not to so show you what he looks like with his light up eyes and with his cannon extended and turned on that's what he looks like I know I think that's pretty impressive anyway that's it for me now guys thanks for watching Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.